Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Aquarius please? Angel, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. 21st to the 31st of January 2021. Overarching energy for Aquarius, please. Thank you. So I have the Nine of Swords. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. So we have recognition. And angels, what is the message that Aquarius needs to hear the most for the week, please? Thank you. Okay, that turned over really quickly. So I have compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So I'm going to pull three cards this week, Aquarius. The first card is the issue or challenge that you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians, thank you. 25th to the 31st of January, 2021. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. Six of coins is your challenge. Eight of cups. Advice from spirit and your outcome. We have the lovers. Card of Gemini. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Aquarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups is clarified with the King of Wands. And the Lovers is clarified with the Death card. Bottom of the deck we have the Page of Cups. Let's clarify this page of cups. Yeah, we have the three of swords. It's interesting, I've got the queen of cups there as well. Okay. It feels like a relationship here, Aquarius, and it feels like, certainly with this Nine of Swords, this can be about stress, anxiety, worry. Um, it can be where the mind, and the Swords is to do with the mind, how we perceive things, our thought patterns, our perspective on situations. And here you can see this person imagining demons looking through the window. It's how the mind distorts reality when it focuses on the negative, when it's in a negative state when the reason that you're feeling this way is negative, you know, it feels that way. It's the mind uh, just spiraling out of control, making us distort our reality. However, it is a reason for why you're feeling like this. It's based in fact. So it can be to do with sleepless nights, stress, anxiety, worry, something to do with this. And it's to do with getting some recognition
and I have the energy of compassion. Uh, there's an energy of suffering your heart with respect to the situation, people involved, including yourself. Or there's an opportunity to soften your heart or for someone to soften their heart. Because it, it feels in this situation, it feels something has been one-sided. And I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody taking you for granted. I mean, the Six of Pentacles um, is generally about give and take. You know, you don't give more than you receive. You don't receive more than you give. You know, it's that kind of energy. However, it's not that way when it's in the challenge position. And it feels like this has been your challenge. This is a challenge that you need to deal with now. I mean, you're standing firm on the Seven of Wands is standing firm, uh, you know, with this challenge that is opposing you. Um, And there's a determination with the Seven of Wands to overcome this. So there's definitely, and it's fire energy. It, it feels in this situation you want to be, I'm definitely getting this energy of, of want to be recognised for who you are, what you do. You want the give and take to be equal in a relationship and it doesn't feel like it's that way at the moment. The Eight of Cups is considering walking away, uh, saying goodbye to somebody because it just feels in this situation, you're nodding, it feels like you're not getting back what you're putting into some kind of relationship and you want recognition. You know, you want the equal give and take. You want the other person to put into a relationship what you do. To, to, to restore the balance. But it feels in this situation, for some of you, I mean, the, the, the Eight of Cups can be a card of walking away. It's also a card of abandonment or feeling withdrawal in a situation. So it feels like you're withdrawing more and more from a relationship. If it's not walking away, or you might be considering walk away because I've got the death card here. Um, it feels like you're, you're thinking about withdrawing from a relationship or you're withdrawing more and more from a relationship because this is somebody who wants the nine of cups. They want to find that missing cup, the cup that brings them happiness, joy, contentment, completion. Um, whereas at the moment, there's just something missing. They feel the lack, you know, they feel something's not quite hitting the mark here because there's not an equal give and take in a relationship. And I definitely get the impression that you're being taken for granted. It could be with a Leo, I mean, male or female energy or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or what they represent. You know, King of Wands can be a card of... Um, Somebody, I mean, there is quite a lot of ego attached to this, I have to say. Um, somebody who is very gregarious, very a big personality, very confident, uh, very powerful. I mean, it might well be that there is an ego issue. Uh, I mean, I don't normally feel it too much. I mean, the King of Wands generally understands how to master that kind of thing. But I generally, I, def I definitely feel this kind of, there could be some ego at play. Um, because this is somebody in their power, they understand how to bring success, they understand how to bring growth, they're full of passion and desire, you know, and all this kind of energy, and they're a larger-than-life personality, and it might well be that you feel smaller because you're not being recognised when you're next to them, you know, it's that kind of energy, not necessarily just that. Lovers is a card of blissful relationships, harmonious relationships, perfect match relationships. Um, it's a card of, it can sometimes be a card of a decision, a decision in matters of the heart as well. Um, for some of you, I mean, this can also be to do with a third party situation. I'm not quite feeling that, but for some of you, this might resonate. There is kind of a message with the lovers that there's no obstacle that you can't overcome. Uh, because the union is that strong. However, I do have the death card. Now, this can be about endings. However, you might be choosing to walk away and ending a relationship. 
Uh, and that obviously is your decision, saying goodbye to something in order to move on to more happiness, joy and so on. However, the death card is also about deep change in your circumstances. It can be about transformation needs to happen. It is an energy of shedding an old skin. The old needs to fall away for the new to come in, you know? So th there can be some kind of energy of wiping the slate clean here. Especially with this compassion card, which is pulling me back to the relationship here, because we have the Three of Swords, which is about emotional pain. And again, it's tying in with that Nine of Swords. Something has caused you emotional pain, really getting into your own head. You're not happy in a situation. It can be to do with third party situations, Aquarius. Um, can be to do with the thing in the relationship that is causing the problem. For example, it could be someone's ego. Um, but it's, it's something that's hurting you deeply. You know, this is a card of being deeply hurt, wounded. Can be a heartbreak card as well. I have the Page of Cups and I feel that there is some kind of change here or transformation. And this is why I'm saying there is an opportunity to wipe the slate clean. Because I feel in this situation, somebody hasn't recognized how strongly you feel about a situation, about the relationship itself. And I'm definitely getting this kind of like gift, surprising apology, um, a peace offering, that kind of energy. This is a message of love, an offer of love. And I feel it's to do with somebody who wants to get back on track. I feel it's to do with this relationship here. They're sorry. Yeah, it does. I'm definitely getting this energy of the lovers. Um, they're sorry in this situation and they don't want to let you go. Cards are saying it very clearly. So you have the Queen of cups interestingly enough she is about compassion she is about love but she's also about opening the heart again to find your flow you know it's that kind of energy the sufferer of love you have an opportunity to find your flow in a relationship once more uh, she's somebody who's very much in her flow she's connected to who she is so i feel in this situation aquarius it feels like there is an opportunity to wipe the slate clean in a relationship. Somebody, it feels like they're very sorry. You might have walked away, actually. You might have walked away. I mean, you know, people are at different life stages when they see this reading. You might have chosen to walk away, to win something. But somebody doesn't want to let it go. I feel they're hurt as well. And there is an opportunity, I definitely feel in this situation, to reconnect to find that missing cup, the one that you've been searching for. Um, because if I feel it's available with this person. I just think sometimes they haven't, there hasn't been that give and take. You haven't had that recognition in a relationship and it feels like change, deep change is open to you. Someone's learnt the lesson, that's for sure. So, you know, that is the reading for you for the week. I'm going to pull a final card. Thank you. Yeah, we have the whale. Tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So, you know, you can take that message with you. And we have sea turtle conservation. Make conscious choices. And a conscious choice is being fully aware of the consequences of your actions and how it affects everybody else. So, you know, it's a very beautiful energy. I mean, there's definitely an energy of choose from the heart, you know, because it's easier for the heart to rule the head than for the mind that the mind to make a decision, the heart doesn't catch up so easily. So there's definitely this kind of energy of choose from the heart. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aquarius, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.